miles away from me uh, so still staying really close to home. Now Ossington um, used to be a an airfield in World War II but it was sort of right at the end of World War II if you like. I think it came into operation in about 1944 and then I think it closed in 1946 and as far as I'm aware it was a training base for I think they trained people on Wellington bombers here so it wasn't active for very long um, and then it was shut down so obviously it's got a lot of sort of little airfields and uh, it's got a lot of old pathways and um, runways that are now broken up or overgrown there's actually a road run straight across the middle of it which is a public road um, but what I've come to do today is uh, I've seen driving across here late in the got on some with the farmer um, and he said it was okay to come up and have a, a walk round. Now some of these paths go through woodland. Um, now I'm a little bit um, whether I should be on these paths or not because it's it's also a shoot and whether the gamekeeper of Oxford through here I don't know. Um, but when I was up here the other day, sort of scouting it out, I noticed there were a lot of hares around. So before, while I wait for these barn owls to turn up, I thought I'd just have a walk down one of these rides and see if there's any hares around. Probably have a lie down and see if I can get any hare pictures. Um, I think I told you down the MB, because of all the flooding, I've not really had that many hares around for the last couple of years. Years, so I know there are a lot here. I know there are. I know the reasons why there are a lot. Um, I'll probably go into that later. But at the minute, I'm just going to get around this corner here where I saw them yesterday and get down at the side of the ride and then uh, see if we can get some pictures. Right, I've literally just got down on the edge of the ride. There's a, there's a hair, what basically this ride, it's, it's, you've obviously got the tracks from where the vehicles go down and then there's a, a central section that has got some really nice green grass and I think what happens is they come out to feed on that. It's a long way away, I mean, I've just taken a little bit of video so I'll stick that up now if it's any good, but it's miles away and it looks really intent on stay, staying where it is, so I don't know whether it's going to come up here or not but I'll wait here just to see what happens I'm starting to lose the light as well so I'm, I'm up at a really high ISO already I think I'm at 1600 now because you know it's even darker in among the trees here um, but we'll see it might come this way it's just a waiting game really right would you believe it that the little monkeys just got up and ran back down the way he's come from and I suppose it was a 50-50 chance um, so it looks like that's me done oh. Oop. we'll go and uh, look for these barn owls oh shit Get 
that that was unbelievable. Um, literally, I was just about to get up as you, you probably saw on the video. I had to stop the, the camera. I was just about to get up because that hair that's miles away had um, headed back down the path. I was sort of on my knees, and this hair comes running up towards me. I didn't get any film of it. Um, literally, this. This Sony lens has got a minimum focus of 2.4 meters, and in the end, it, it wouldn't focus. It was that close to me, and I was trying to get it down to from 600 mil to 200 mil because it was just filling the screen. Uh, I think I've got a nice image, a couple of nice images. One where it's sat up um, quite nicely, and then one where it's running towards me. I think the ones where it was too close to just foul it up. It, it would literally, I could almost have touched it. Uh, Hairs are like that, you know, if, if you lay down, sometimes they just it just doesn't register with them. If I'd have been stood up, it would have gone. There's no chance it, you know, it would have seen me gone. But if you're not in a, a standing position, if you're not making that shape that a human makes when it's stood up, a lot of the time they will just run and run and run towards you until they sort of almost on top of you. And as I say, I could ne nearly touch that one. That was absolutely fantastic. <sighs> I think I'm going to have to put that through some noise reduction, but it should be a really nice image. Hopefully, anyway, it looks good on the back of the camera, so... Um, brilliant. Well, if I don't get a barn owl now, at least we've got something from this vlog. Right. Right, I'm probably going to end this video here today. Um, to say today has been a... well, this afternoon, has been an afternoon of two halves is um, it's an understatement really I I probably mentioned at the beginning of this video that um, Ossington airfield is, is between not sure whether I said but I did uh, it's actually sandwiched between two shoots um, pheasant shoots so there's one to the east and one to the west and I don't know whether I intimated or not, I thought the reason that there was very little wildlife was for that very reason. Um, and I, uh, I actually didn't see this on the way through and I've checked, I've checked this just to make sure and uh, I'm fairly sure that it's been shot. Um, we're walking just past here, I don't really want to show you. Um, upset me so I'm not the, the fox there and it appears to me that it's been shot and I know um, and you know I don't like putting this sort of thing in my videos because you know my videos are I try to be about the joy of wildlife and wildlife photography and you know the natural world around us and it's it's one of those things that it's a little bit like if we don't mention it perhaps it's not happening I suppose and uh, I know it's happening it drives me mad um, right as you can see I've come to a picturesque part of the um, of the old Ossington airfield at the minute. I don't know, it looks like somebody throws a load of old pallets here, but that's where I was earlier. Um, I'm going to sign off, I think, because I don't think it's just got a little bit too dark and there's rain coming in. So it's nice to sort of know that potentially there's an area here, but I think I'm going to have better luck in other places. And to be honest, it, it does depress me, this place. Uh, because it should be fantastic for wildlife and it's not and as I say I've already explained the reasons why um, but there's not an awful lot I can do about that but I, I did say in one of my earlier videos that I wanted to actually broach these subjects when they came along because I don't think we do often enough and we gloss over it so this is the reality of the countryside um, like it or not but i'm going to sign off get back to the car before it chucks it down and i will see you for next week for another video 
if you've enjoyed this one then please give it a like and if I've not depressed you too much uh, please give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe to the channel I put the images up now that I got of that hair um, they look really good on the back of the camera I'm hoping they've come out really well and uh, at least yeah that was one positive from the day so see you next week